Welcome to another Lumion tutorial. This is Chris Welton from C. Welton Design. And in this tutorial, we're gonna cover the new camera movements and control we have in Lumion 10. This is actually one of my favorite new features in Lumion 10. Being able, this, this slight little control of the acceleration of a camera is, is big to me. I've always tried to mimic a lot of B-roll and slow camera movements and panning and sliding in my Lumion seeds to get some really awesome footage. You think of a product promo like looking at a computer or a, just some sort of new product where we have some really cool slider effects. It, and um, I, I love doing that to my model. But before, Lumion cameras had a little bit of an acceleration where it would just start to go, it would accelerate, get to a speed and then decelerate. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I like that. It has its purpose. But a lot of times I've always wanted to just have a constant acceleration from here to here. Perfect. Just like a slider would be set up on a, on, on a slider with the camera to get those perfect effects. To achieve this, I used to render out and cut off the tail and the end, the tail in the beginning in Premiere, just to get that constant acceleration and basically I'm wasting frames and rendering them just to throw them away. So this has helped quite a lot. If you're confused about what I'm explaining, well, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'll show off some examples and hopefully you can see the value of being able to control these camera movements more precisely. And some of the other opportunities, I think they open up that are quite incredible. All right, so let's jump into that. Okay, so we're gonna start here in a very simple scene. All we have right here is this piece of furniture and a little bit of decoration around it. And we're gonna try to do some awesome B-roll glamour shots of this to really showcase even something as simple as this and talk about the camera pathing and how we can smooth that and get some really cool professional looking footage with the new ease in and out control in Lumion 10. So typically, maybe we can have a shot where they're gonna have a slider just coming right across this nice and slow. Like this. And we'll go ahead and make that a good 10 seconds. Oops, and we'll go ahead and add another scene here, maybe kind of coming in at an angle, a zoom or zoomed in lens, just about here, oops, just really quickly putting a couple shots together, we could do like a top down. showcase the difference of control we have <clears throat> with the new ease and in, in and out <clears throat> linear control. Okay. A 10 second clip. And the last one, we'll add one more. Okay, <clears throat> so now we set up these these shots, kind of almost like a product promo of this simple piece of furniture. Say we're trying to sell this design of furniture. You've seen the commercials. You'll see a lot of real smooth footage that's moving in, in simple paths, but just really showcase it with some excellent lighting. Now, if we go ahead and watch this, you'll notice that something that Lumion's camera had before is it has this, this acceleration when it starts. It doesn't just instantly accelerate to, or it doesn't just instantly start moving at a constant velocity. It slows into it and it slows down. This is called easing in, easing out. It's a Bezier, it's a Bezier curve. It's something we work a lot with in post-production and you know 
what I would have preferred a ton before and what I noticed in a lot of these professional shots is they didn't have that. They didn't have this acceleration curve typically. Usually when I saw it, it was constant acceleration. It has a really cool effect. Let's go ahead and slow that last clip down. And I'm just not quite achieving it here in this case. I, I like what it does sometimes, but in this case, I want to get that perfect effect. And what I used to do is I would render these clips out and I would cut the that acceleration out and just start the clip right here. And before it slows down, then I would cut to the next clip. Now Lumion has made this actually quite a bit easier because this ease in and out can be controlled now by clicking on these two handles at the end of your clips. Another little minor thing too, they've added the effects on and off which is really nice. I don't have any effects right now. And now you can input manually the time code instead of having to drag it up and down. A couple of little minor things too, but the big thing I'm emphasizing is now we have ease in linear and ease out linear versus smooth or busier. So I'm going to do that on all of these and see if you notice the difference here. I kind of wish you could set to default only like default do linear, but it's easy enough to set this up. So now when we watch that same footage, instant smoothness, constant speed, we're moving from one direction to another, and then we're just going to cut to another movement. It's all about style. You know, there's definitely a place for the other, the other ease in and out that we had before, but this is definitely a style that I saw and I've always liked and I've made in previous Lumion versions by doing some post-production. So this is just a minor little tool that Lumion has added that makes this a little bit better. Makes it smoother and saves me time having to render frames I'm just gonna cut out anyway. So it's really nothing too complex. So I've pretty much covered it here. Hopefully, um, I hope you guys understand this capability we have, how to control it. And hopefully this is something you're looking for and it can really help add some more edge to your shots. Typically when people are setting this up, they'll have cameras on sliders. They'll, or they'll have certain dollies moving and very mechanized to achieve this perfect look. And they do a lot in the product design or when you're looking up you know, professional real estate stuff, they're gonna be moving simple, do simple movements like this and they typically don't have those curves. Those, that, that ease in, ease out like we had before. So, great two buttons to add this. And I'm going to go ahead and just render this out, play it out, and look forward to seeing what you guys can produce utilizing this. Hopefully it changes the way you think about setting up certain shots. I did mention that I see this opening up some really cool possibilities in the future. And I think I'm going to hit on that a little bit more when we get to the perspective match, the three perspective effect in Lumion, because something that we couldn't quite capture with a match with real cameras because of that acceleration, we can match a lot easier having a constant acceleration. So we're going to dive into that a little bit more in the perspective match tutorial. But for now, you guys know what the tool is and how to utilize it and again uh thanks for watching we have more tutorials coming out in the future hopefully this helped you guys out understand some cool new features in lumion 10 super minor one something i've asked for a lot and i'm happy to get so until next time